The Music City Star is a commuter line that runs from downtown Nashville to Lebanon through primarily suburban or even rural areas in our region. Let's say 60 years ago, Nashville was a pretty small uh, regional city that was dominated by the three interstates that intersect here. And uh, that was what all of our transportation construction and, and planning was focused on. Estimates are that we have 80 to 100 people a day moving to the region overall. We're adding three to 5,000 jobs a year in the core of the city right now. Just the laws of physics require us to get people into buses and trains just to move people around in a convenient, affordable, reliable way. The Music City Star is Middle Tennessee's only commuter train. At a startup cost of $41 million, it's the nation's most cost-efficient commuter rail per mile. Beginning service in 2006, the Star runs a 32-mile route from downtown Nashville to the city of Lebanon. It connects to six park-and-ride stations, serving about 1,100 daily riders. We've always had a lot of support for rail passenger service in Tennessee, but there are always some soothsayers that uh, feel like uh, that's just a, a waste of taxpayers' dollars. But if, if they felt that way, we'd have never built the interstate highway system. After I got elected to Congress, uh, I knew from first day that I wanted to bring about rail passenger service to Nashville and Tennessee. I didn't know how I was going to face so many roadblocks. We tried Murfreesboro, we tried uh, Gallatin, uh, Franklin, uh, but all of those are on the CSX line, where Lebanon, Tennessee is on a short line railroad, totally separate from your class one railroads like CSX. Matter of fact, if you looked at it on need and population, you would have gone from Nashville to Murfreesboro first, but Murfreesboro is on the CSX line and we just didn't get any cooperation. You know, to go from Nashville to uh, Lebanon was a journey of faith. We had no way to know how we were going to fund it. We had no way of knowing anything. We didn't even know where we were going with it. Well, I'm Don Fox. I was mayor of the city of Lebanon from uh, January of 1994 until December 8th of 2008. It was all unknowns. It was an idea, it was a dream. We were just concerned about the traffic. We'd all been through Atlanta many times and, and that massive traffic uh, situation they have down there. And we didn't want Nashville to become that way. We didn't want this region to become uh, like that region is. And we had had negotiations with CSX about going to Murfreesboro, going to Gallatin, Hendersonville, and those areas. And CSX was very negative. We own the Nashville Eastern Railroad. So Lebanon was chosen to be the first destination. There's no question that the transportation has become an issue here as we look at the traffic flow. And Nashville has caused that, being the it city. It is, a you know, right now, probably, I won't say a traffic nightmare, but there's a whole lot of congestion. You know, we must think about the future and how we get people in and out of our county and out of our region here. And I think we have a leg up in Wilson County because we have the start. Anna rides the Music City Star between her house in Donaldson and her workplace at the Tennessee Towers downtown. If I drive, I would leave my, I would like have to leave my house by like 6.20 to get down to the Towers by like 7 o'clock. Like I could either leave my house at 7 or leave my house at 6.20. So just riding the train and being able to have access to the buses and the, and the Music City Star is just way more convenient. So the train has become a vital part of our, our life here, uh, and um, for people that have to sit in traffic in the morning, you know, that, that's an alternative. I, I don't believe enough can be captured through the fares, 
I think for us to continue in mass transit uh, here with the STAR and any other areas that we'd have to do, you know, it would require some type of designated funding. That is tough for people to swallow because people that don't use it say, I don't want to use my tax dollars on the STAR or on some type of transit. I think it takes all of us to partner together because in reality we all benefit. Even if they don't ride the train, it will take traffic off of I-40. Uh, it will be less people for them to deal with as they drive in and out of Nashville or Sumner County or Rutherford County or Williamson County, wherever they go. That tax dollar is really working for them even though they probably are not maybe riding the train. It's still a benefit to them. I think that at some point in time, all these uh, six corridors that go into Nashville they're going to be packed with people. It's going to be filled just like New York, just like L.A. When I was in office, 15,000 people drove to Nashville to work every day. What is it today? Probably 20,000. What will it be 10 years from now? What will it be 20 years from now? I have told all the mayors of Nashville in these meetings that they should be either be building an elevated at this time or they should be digging the tunnels uh, because it'll take 20 years to do whatever we decide to do and that's going to be about right as far as clearing up the traffic before it becomes too bad. We are behind the curve. For the next 10 to 15 years in Middle Tennessee, we're expecting another million people. We're not ready for it. You look at Europe and you look at Asia, how far ahead they are from the United States. Uh, We've got a long way to go, and we've got so much anxiety now. We have so much built up demand. We have so many people that would ha like to have an alternative mode of travel. And we need multimodal transportation service, and that's what rail passenger service uh, provides. When you're the mayor of a city, uh, you, you don't look at today, you don't even look at 20 years from now, you look at 50 and 100 years from now. And what we've done with the, the east corridor of the rail with the Music City Star is going to affect this region and other regions around the country uh, 100 years from now. If this is a moment where Nashvilleians can uh, elect to invest in their own future. But uh, people got to give it a chance. People got to uh, find out how much more relaxing it is to take the Music City Star to work than it is to sit in traffic on I-40. And I think once they design their life around it a little bit, they'll find that it's a much more enjoyable way to live.